It's Adam here for PC Monitors and today I'm going to be taking a look at the OSD on-screen display menu system of the BenQ EW2770QZ. The OSD is controlled by pressable buttons at the rear of the monitor along the right side. There's also a power indicator at the front of the monitor. It's actually a vertical slit design. It runs down the at the bottom of the monitor there as well. It's um, not overly bright or something I find distracting from a normal viewing position. It uh, goes amber or dark amber when the monitor's on standby or in a low power state. If you press any of the buttons at the back, it comes up with this quick menu here. The top function is BI, Brightness Intelligence Plus. And you can turn that on or off in certain presets. I'll come on to that in a little bit. Picture mode, so that's the different presets of the monitor. You can choose various different presets there. The standard, low blue light, cinema, game, photo, sRGB, X709, eco, mbook and user. Some of these have other settings associated with them, um, but to actually adjust them you have to go into the main menu. Next is input, and that allows you to manually select the input source used by the monitor. There's menu, and there's exit. So if you press menu, you get onto the main menu of the OSD. It's split into various sections, and it's quite a compact design. It's just on the bottom right of the screen. And you can see that the buttons now have different functions assigned to them, navigational functions. So there's up, down, right and left, plus exit. The first section of the menu, Eye Care, allows you to adjust various settings such as the low blue light feature, which is explored in the review. BI Plus, Brightness Intelligence Plus. Um, if you turn that on, you can turn on this light meter function and all that does is it just puts an icon on the screen when the, uh, you see that little eye icon there, which will give you an indication of how bright the brightness sensor thinks the room is and the kind of adjustments that the monitor is going to be making. So essentially what Brightness Intelligence Plus does is it uses a light sensor which is on the bottom bezel in this little box here to detect the ambient brightness in your room and it adjusts the monitor's brightness and the colour temperature according to that. It does the same according to the content on the screen. And again, this is explored in some detail in the review. It's uh, not something I really want to talk about too much here. Um, you can also adjust the sensor sensitivity, which is discussed a little bit in the review. Um, I find the default setting of 50 fine. Um, but, you know, as they say in the instruction manual, it depends on the tilt angle you have the monitor at and um, you might have various personal preferences for that kind of thing. So you can adjust that between um, 0 and 100 in increments of 10. There's an interesting feature, adjust by duration, which is something which allows the monitor to um, decrease its colour temperature so the image becomes warmer the longer the monitor's been switched on. And that's in theory, that's quite good if you are someone who has the monitor on all day and you're at your computer all day and it's supposed to be more relaxing, more restful on the eyes um, with the warmer colour temperature. So if you're using the monitor for a while, it'll make the colour temperature a bit warmer. I've actually had a bit of a play with this setting and in practice I don't find it very practical at all. For one thing, um, having a warmer colour temperature is particularly useful in the evening but this adjust by duration setting is purely based on how long the monitor's been on in the last session. So if you're like me and you come back to your computer various times throughout the day, you've turned your monitor off then on again, or you've let it go into a low power state, it'll just reset this timer. Um, I also found that the adjustments in colour temperature are fairly uh, slight compared to what you get activating, for example, a low blue light setting. And you can have this adjust by duration um, setting active with low blue light active as well um, and that'll make the colour temperature even warmer in a theory. Um, I'm, again I didn't really notice having much effect. So it's an interesting feature but personally I would have 
like to have seen it, um, the, the monitor have some sort of clock built into it and have this adjusting based on the time of day rather than how long the monitor's been switched on for. Next this picture, and this allows you to adjust things like the brightness, the contrast, the sharpness, the 10 different sharpness levels. Um, I find the default of 5 optimal, um, but you know, adjust that according to preferences if you like. The various other settings are greyed out simply because of the uh, preset I'm using at the moment. So I'm just going to switch to the user preset, which should unlock all of those options for me. So you can change the gamma, the five, uh, six, sorry, different gamma modes. Again, they're explored in the review. Various color temperature settings. If you select user define, you can manually configure the red, green, and blue color channels. You can adjust the hue, saturation as well. AMA, advanced motion acceleration, which is the pixel overdrive feature of the monitor. And as quite clearly shown in the review, high is optimal. Um, there's really no question about that. Um, there's an option to reset everything on the picture menu to the factory defaults. Next is picture advanced. That allows you to adjust to, um, sorry, adjust the picture mode to one of the various different presets. It's a super resolution feature, and this increases the sharpness when the monitor's running a non-native resolution, such as uh, full HD. It doesn't have any effect if you're running the native resolution as I am now, but um, as I explore in the interpolation and upscaling section of the review, I don't really find this feature very useful because even at one, things look overly sharp and just quite wrong, um, at the full HD resolution at least. And you can adjust the sharpness control, which gives you a bit more flexibility anyway. Smart focus, um, this will just put a little this basically um, highlights a section of the screen, which might be useful in a presentation or something like that. You can adjust where on the screen the uh, little box that it highlights is. Um, and you can also change the size of the box. So again, that's a, sort of a bit of a niche feature, really. I'm just going to turn that off. Dynamic contrast, which is explored in the review, and that's greyed out just because I'm in the user preset. So I'll just switch to one of the presets where you can adjust that uh, quickly. So game, for example, will allow you to adjust the dynamic contrast feature. Um, so there are various different levels. And this will take control of the the backlight and allow it to adjust according to the content on the screen. It's explored in the review. As usual, it adjusts as uh, one unit, um, so the backlight all adjusts together. It doesn't have dimming zones or anything like that. And you can set that to various different uh, sort of levels of effect between one and five. Next is display mode. And that's just a simple sort of scaling feature. It doesn't have one-to-one -one pixel mapping this monitor, so it just allows you to choose between full and aspect. If you're running a non-native resolution of a different aspect ratio, it allows you to control whether the image just stretches um, or whether you want it to be kept in the source resolution's aspect ratio. That's all that does. There's an overscan feature for older systems, perhaps some older games consoles, if you're having some issues with the um, image not coming straight uh, right to the edge of the screen or going over it or something like that. Um, overscan can be useful to correct that. HDMI RGB PC range. Um, auto detect in my testing worked absolutely fine, um, but if in doubt, make sure this is set to 0255 and make sure you're using the appropriate setting in your graphics driver as well got an article on the website um, which is linked to in the written review um, but because this is a WQHD rather than full HD monitor um, at least with my Nvidia card that I tested everything was set up just fine by default so there's no need to worry about this but there is an article um, on the website which 
discusses HDMI colour issues um, and setting the correct colour signal in the graphics driver. Next says display, that just uh, is a very simple thing, it just allows you to change the input used by the monitor. Audio allows you to change the volume or mute the integrated speakers or anything connected to the 3.5mm headphone jack. And then there's system. This allows you to change various settings in the OSD itself, how long it's displayed after the last button press before it automatically disappears, the language that it's displayed in, or you can lock it to stop pesky, uh, perhaps younger family members messing around with your settings very easily. Custom key 1 and custom key 2. This applies to um, that first setting and that second setting in the quick menu, so you can customise what they allow you to control. So for example, if you only use one picture mode but you like to adjust the brightness a lot, you can set the uh, custom key to the control your brightness instead. Um, custom key 2, you can do the same with that. So there are various different options you can set there. Um, so now you should see that the Sorry, I said it was a top one, and it's actually the second and the third. Uh, that's always BI plus, no matter what you do, because that's kind of a key new feature of this monitor. So that's always BI plus as the first thing, and um, then you can customise what the second and the third show. DDC slash CI. It's part of the plug and play functionality of the monitor. It'll allow you to use software such as BenQ Display Pilot to um, adjust various settings on the OSD rather than having to go into the OSD if you like that kind of thing. Um, HDMI auto switch, it, um, I think that's just like an automatic input select if you've, uh, for HDMI on the monitor. It's uh, probably explained a bit better than I just explained it there in the manual. There is an auto power off feature and this will send the monitor, um, well it puts it in standby but it's as if you press the power button on the monitor to turn the monitor off. Uh, it's technically still on, it's on standby when you do that, um, unless you turn it off at the wall. But um, this will just, after it's gone into a low power state and you've got your amber light going for 10 minutes, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, this will just turn the monitor off automatically. Resolution notice, that just displays a little reminder on this screen that you're not running the non-native resolution. If you're not running the non, uh, sorry, <laughs> running a non-native resolution if you are not running the native resolution. So if you've got the monitor in full HD and you've got this resolu uh, resolution notice enabled, for example, it'll just tell you that the optimal native resolution is 2560 by 1440. So if you don't like to be reminded of that, um, use lots of non-native resolutions, Just you can disable that if you want. There's an information section. Um, this shows you how you've got the monitor connected up, the current and the optimum resolution, and just a quick reminder of the model name. You can change the display port revision. Um, most people, it's just for compatibility. If you've got an older graphics card that only has 1.1, you might need to select 1.1, otherwise just leave it at 1.2. And there is a feature which allows you to reset everything on all of the menu, uh, all of the sections of the menu to the factory default as well. So that's all there was to it. That was the OSD on-screen display menu system of the BenQ EW2770QZ. Be sure to check out the full review on PCMonitors.info. There's a link to that um, as well as a link uh, to information about how you can support the work that we do in the description of the video.